Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Uh, been on the road for a while. Got home, had about three or four days of good weather and we went to work on the logs. And as you just saw, did the first, uh, first bit of notching that I've ever done in my life. They came out okay, had a couple good ones, had a couple bad ones, uh, but I think I figured out some tricks along the way, so hopefully it'll get better from here. So anyway, thanks for coming back. Here's what, uh, here's what we did for the last three days. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, hey, what is that? Can y'all see that? I've already sketched out where my first notch is gonna be on both sides. And I'm uh, a little nervous. Yeah, I've been sweating on this all night long. Not all night. I was thinking about it before I went to bed. I had it in my head how I was gonna do it and it all it all went perfect in my head. We're gonna start hacking away and uh, we're gonna see how this goes. Wish me luck. Let's, let's go. Man, this is a weird feeling. So I spent, there's <laughs> no going back now. I mean, to get this log to this point, you have to chop it down, get it back to a, uh, a drying rack, as I called it, let it season for a year, debark it, which if you saw in my last video, that is, it's not really a very fun task. Um, and then uh, get it up onto these logs, which if you saw in the last video, that was not very fun either. It was interesting, but now I'm cutting into it. So if this isn't right, this log is wasted. And uh, I'll probably cry. Yeah, I just like doing that on video. Why am I using a bow saw? Because until I see how this is going to go, you know, you, you make obviously much smaller cuts with a bow saw than I would with a chainsaw. And I really don't want to overdo this thing. So we'll see. Is anybody else nervous, man? Jeez. Can't hit the hole. There we go. Oh, man. Maybe turn it back. Take a little breather here. So yeah, I used the bow saw to make the major cuts down to the line, just about. The line's about a half inch to a quarter inch below where we've cut to, except right there, I went right to it. Um, and then from that point on, I uh, broke out the chainsaw and I'm probably gonna use the chainsaw and really just try to smooth that out and then break out the, uh, the draw knife and really try to get it just perfect. We'll see how it goes. Kind of crazy. Nothing's sitting inside this thing probably in 50 years. I don't know how old these things are. Maybe older. I guess I could count the rings. Isn't that what it's supposed to be? I did that on a tree I have out front. A big old, big old white oak that um, I'm using for firewood. This thing is like over 100 years old. It's crazy. What was out here 100 years ago, you know? getting there I need to flatten out the line from this edge to this edge needs to be pretty much straight I got a little bit of a hump here otherwise the edge is gonna sit high and it's not gonna look like it's flush <laughs> all right I think it's about that time I'm done making a mess I think we got it about the best it's gonna get but I really won't know until I roll it over and see how it fits Enough delaying. Let's just uh, let's just go for it. All right, let's just sack up and try it. Let's see what happens. Hey, hey. <laughs> all right. So the first notch, it didn't go perfect. Um, it got it on there. It wasn't it wasn't really a tight fit. It wasn't awful, I guess, but I uh, felt I could do better, so I rolled it back over, made some adjustments, and um, we'll see. I can't really take any more wood out of it, but um, 
hopefully we'll get this one uh, close enough and uh, we'll use a little wood filler. I got to looking online. Nobody really does perfect notches. I think a lot of people use the filler to kind of fill in the gaps, but um, we'll get better as we go. And I uh, had to make myself a little log, log pivy there. So I put a ratchet strap on the end of a crowbar and kind of use that to pivy the log back over. So, all right, let's see if we can get this thing right. But, uh, the log pivy, I guess. Wow, I think it worked. All right, I think we got it. It's not perfect, but it ain't far off. And I don't think, you know, notches are always going to be perfect. I know they're not always going to be perfect. And that's what the wood chinking filler is for. Um, so really no complaints. Uh, do that one tomorrow. I didn't get to that one today because I, I laid this one on here. I didn't like the way it was at first. Uh, I had to make myself a little log pivy out of a crowbar and a ratchet strap and I rolled it back over, did some fine tuning, and I got it pretty darn close to where I would want it. Um, now, if I find out that I could have done it better, if I learn before I get another row on top of this, if I learn a trick doing this next one, how to do it correctly, then I can always toss that log away, which would be sad because I spent a whole freaking day getting it up on there. But... Um, if it makes it, you know, for a better cabin in the long run. I mean, this cabin's supposed to be here for about 100 years, I'm hoping. So, uh, spending uh, an extra day on something that seems kind of like uh, pointless, uh, I think it'd be well worth it. And I don't think it's pointless. What was it, um, Emperor Hadrian? Yeah, from like 120 AD in Rome. It said, brick by brick, my citizens. And he meant uh, wanted his citizens to work meticulously, not quickly, because he wanted everything they built to last for a millennia and it did that times two so far half the roads he built are still there i'm told wouldn't mind checking some of that stuff out all right there's your history lesson thanks for coming along i'm gonna be back out here tomorrow morning tomorrow morning and i will bring you guys along and uh we'll see you then good morning back for uh day two of the notching so i was all um uh, kind of butthurt again for myself uh on the notching job I did over there. I didn't like that it wasn't quite as tight as this one. And then I kind of got to looking last night on YouTube videos and a bunch of others that, like I suspected, nobody really makes perfect notches. Um, there's a really, really great YouTube uh, channel called uh, My Self Reliance. That guy's incredible. Um, I went back and watched him and uh, his notches aren't perfect either. Uh, he puts kind of that you know, kind of moss or chink in them or something. But, um, I mean, they look amazing and it works perfectly and that's all they're supposed to do. So yeah, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it quite as much and uh, I'm still gonna try to get better and better on my notches, but you know, it's uh, this is a glorified tool shed, man. Okay, let's see what we can do. There's a dip right here in the log, a knot that's hitting the, this ridge on the log right here. The log's in a good spot, it's halfway between, so I am gonna go ahead and jack it up and take off that little knot since uh, I don't want that there anyway. That knot should, should not be there. All right, and that is why women live longer than men. Morons like me taking a chainsaw inches away from a stone that could break the chain and have it whip around and hit me right in the face. Good times, good times. It's funny as of, uh, of all the tools that I figured I'm gonna need for a project this big. And so far, the most precise one I've used is a dollar store grade school uh, ruler. All right, man, this part makes me nervous.
I'll be satisfied. Need a half a coaster. All right, just about time to roll this one over. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Hope I did it right. Hey man, it don't really matter. We'll get it right one way or the other. If it, if it turns into a house and it doesn't fall over, then we did it right. All right, I, I'm good. I'm okay with that. That's. It's not, well, you know what, that one's really, really tight. It looks a little jagged. That's just where pieces have kind of chipped off. I'll smooth that out. Um, all right, I can live with this. This one's just about there. It's got a little bit of a, uh, a gap in it. We'll call that ventilation. Um, now, nah, but it's fine. I could, I could probably cut out a little bit more down here and this might come down lower, but um, nah, that's just, then we're just kind of messing with something we really don't need to mess with. I don't think that would really improve much. I don't think. Maybe so. We'll see. It is sitting up off the logs. So yeah, maybe I do need to take a little bit out over here. See, I talked myself into it. There you go. Thanks, thanks for the help, guys. Ooh, yeah, that one's a little better. Let's check his side here. Oh, yeah, ain't too bad. Yeah. It might be tighter than a nun's butthole right there. Well noted. And this front. All right, I can live with these. So I guess I'm gonna put the log screw on the inside. That way the next log will cover it up and you won't see it. Not that it's really an eyesore or anything. But... Yeah, it's good about like that. Does that look right to you guys? All you carpenters out there? That thing's in there. Yeah, pretty amazed how well that went in. All right, so that's permanent. That one, yeah, that one can go straight in from the top. Why not? That shouldn't be a problem. All right, we're locked. Everything's locked down. So I think the next thing I was gonna do is put uh, some concrete form up onto uh, that one right there. And um, like I did over here on the corners. Um, but I get, then again, I don't wanna waste a 50 pound bag. So I think I'll wait till I get the stones for the center of this one. <sighs> All right, that wouldn't put up a fight too. <laughs> Turns out rocks just don't roll. That whole rolling stone gathers no shit. How you get one to roll in the first place? It wasn't easy. Moved it from over there to over here. I think I'm gonna stack that guy on top of this one. Let's see what kind of height that gives me. And then uh, I'll probably go get some uh, get some mortar and try to try to set it up so it's nice and stable. 
like I say, this is really just kind of help it keep from bowing down. I don't know that it would bow down at all anyway, but just peace of mind. All right, here we go. We came, we saw, we kicked its ace. Bill Murray, Ghostbusters 1984. Anybody ever seen that? All right. Not too bad. Um, I know all my armchair structural engineers at home are gonna suggest that it doesn't look very uh, stable side to side. It doesn't need to be. That's what the corner posts are for. This is just a little bit of support in the middle. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna get some rest. Um, clean up, we got rain coming tomorrow. So kind of give me a day off really of this. And then uh, got to hit the road probably the day after that. And then uh, when I get home, I heard the weather's gonna be pretty good again. So hopefully we'll get one or two more days of this in. All right, see you guys later.